Hi all, welcome to my channel. Okay, my name is Tamia, and today we're going to be talking about how to get that perfect everyday makeup look. Well, I'm not talking about. I'm going to show you how to get that perfect everyday makeup look. Um, this is my first YouTube video. Cheers to that. I'm going to put this down because we're going to get right into this look. This is a look that you can wear summer, fall, winter, spring, every day of the year, every no matter the season because it's very versatile. And we just gonna hop right into it. I'm not even gonna pause. So let's get started. Okay, so hopping right into it, I'm gonna spray my face with some of my face mist because you have to start with skincare, of course. I'm gonna air dry that, and then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Lumi Glow. And I got this like last year and it does a really good job at giving you some coverage but also giving you a nice glow. I'll put that in with a foundation brush and then take my e.l.f. Kabuki and use that as like a beauty blender because I haven't invested in a beauty blender yet. I don't really do much face makeup, but when I do, I mean, this works fine, so I'm fine. As you can see, my brows are done, so we're going to go right into the eyes. I'm priming my eyes with some Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe, and then using the same foundation brush to blend. You guys see my little Fenty Beauty Compact? Oh, I love it. It's so cute. So then I'm going to take the Morphe 350 palette, and I love this palette. I got it a long time ago because, just because of that one orange color. But I'm going to take that color right there. That's the third color from the top, all the way on the left. I don't know what the name of it is. And then I think that's also a Morphe brush that I'm using. Um, I don't know what the name of that one is either. But it's really nice. It came in a compact. It came in like a case of like a bunch of brushes. And I, most likely I got it from Morphe. So I'm just patting that on my eye and blending it out. I feel like this is the perfect like flush colored, flush colored uh, eyeshadow. Then I, I'm, I'm actually using a calligraphy pen and praying to God that my eyeliner comes out right. Yes, a calligraphy pen. Actually, this is like one of the best things I've ever used for eyeliner. I don't know why, other than the Fenty one. I started using this one first, and then my Fenty one broke, so I went back to this one. It works perfectly, and it comes off as if it's just eyeliner, you know? I'm not staying. I don't think it's toxic or anything. And I got it from Michaels, and it was really cheap. So, and it looks like a feather. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly on my for my eyeliner. Now, this is literally how I do my eyeliner every day. I feel like the trick to eyeliner is finesse. Know what shape you're going for, and pray that you don't have to start your look all over again and just go in sis and don't care too much about it that's another trick because you'll literally spend your whole morning trying to get your eyeliner perfect just like how your eyebrows are sisters not twins your eyeliner is usually sisters not twins um yeah i love a bold eyeliner look you can do your eyeliner however you want to do it but this is usually how um, I get mine done. My eyeliner looks different every day, to be honest. So that's another reason. I just don't stress it. I just have fun with it. That's what makeup is for, to have fun. And as long as it looks symmetrical, it looks even, that's my goal, then I'm good, sis. 
it's gonna look nice regardless it's gonna give you that nice cat eye shape that you're going for just make sure that they're symmetrical and we make it work yes it is. <laughs> okay so then I'm gonna take some mascara um you can do lashes if you want I'm not really a lashes kind of girl yet I haven't mastered that but I do love me some mascara and this one I think is called princess lashes um it's from Ulta and it's amazing literally look at that look at how long my lashes look it looks like I have on falsies and I don't and it accentuates my eyeliner so then I'm going to take another Morphe brush that came out of the toolkit that I bought from the website. And then I'm going to go in with both of those glittery colors uh, for my inner corner. So I picked like a golden and like a pinky gold because I feel like those are, you know, the most flattering. Uh, they go with everything. You can't go wrong with gold. And then, you know add a little pink to it a hint of pink to just you know make it pop make it look a little different and then i'm gonna add some more of that to my brow bone yes look at that mm -hmm. i'm teaching y'all the tricks you feel me i don't know i just think it looks really nice like that you know and it just gives you a look an extra little some some little oomph so now i'm gonna go into my old anastasia beverly hills glow kit because i ran out of my other favorite highlight but you know what this never failed me not a day in my life um i'm taking mimosa and using my uh ring finger to just you know pat that air and my skin feels so dewy right now so you know how your skin feels in the summer especially if you're using good products um, my skin feels so dewy right now, so just patting it in with my finger is everything. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to take some Crushed Pearl, which is like a color that's kind of too bright, but you know what? It works when you put it on top as a good topper. Going into my Too Faced Peach Palette, my favorite palette of all time for the face, I'm taking the blush. I sprayed some of my face mist on it to get it, you know, a little more pigmented. And then I kind of just go in now on the apples of my cheek. And I kind of use this as a bronzer, too. I just put it all over my face. And a trick I learned is to put a little over your nose, especially if you put on too much blush to not look clownish. You just blend it over your nose, and everything just blends perfectly. So now we need a lip. You can go for, you know, a, a, a regular everyday lip gloss. Something neutral, keep it regular, keep it simple, and that's super cute. Or, oh, I actually wanted to add some more <laughs> shine. So I took something that's like really waxy and sticky. I love that though, I got it from Walmart. And it smells like cotton candy. And look how it just, look at that old shine. That's if you want some extra shine. Super cute. Then I'm going to take my Rihanna Fenty and Ballerina Blackout. My, probably one of my favorite colors. I love a bright pink, okay? And it just seems like this color just gives me a perfect pout, like... My lips just look so pouty, and it's so pigmented, and it's just so pink, and that's my favorite color. But yeah, you don't really need much. I like to go in and dab at a certain point, and just, you know, make it blend. I don't want to be looking crazy now. This color can get crazy, but depending on how you put it, you can make it work, honey. That's what I like about Rihanna's uh, stuff, too. She makes sure, you know, everyone can wear it. And it's, it's true. She's not just saying that. She really is. So then I'm going to go in with another Fenty color. Ooh, which one is this called? I forget which one this is, but I'll put it in my description bar at the bottom. This is like when I realized I loved Rihanna Fenty. I had to go back to Sephora and get some more. And this is the one that I got for like an everyday color it's nice as is but i like to add some shine on top of it 
I feel like it's like a cute little 90s look. And then of course I want to go add more <laughs> shine. Mm, look at that, juicy. And then we just add that on top. And to be honest, I love this lip look. It's everything. Like this is really the perfect everyday look. This right here. The face, the lip, you can go anywhere with this. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, serve. Serve. <laughs> All right, that's enough, sis. Anywho, right. So we're going to go to the next color after I wipe this off. I've, I'm using baby wipes, but look at that, my face mist. I spray it on my lips after everyone to keep my lips moist, moisturized, you know, with lip swatches, it's annoying. But look at how pink or red, whatever color my lips are, they just look so supple. I love this face mist. So yeah, now I'm going in with some uh, e.l.f. Uh, lippy. It's like a bomb. I think I got this from like a supermarket or something. Um... And then I'm taking my Morphe Social Lip Paint, adding that on top. I, I, if, you, if you can't tell, I love to combine lip lippies and see what color comes out. But these are some of my favorite combinations. I feel like that's what lip products are for, you know? So now this one is a High Shine NYX Lip Gloss. I'm going to have all these down in my description bar. Hopefully it's not too hard, but <laughs> I'm gonna have them all down. Look at that shine. This one is another really cute color. It's simple, but it's still a statement, you know, cause it's really nice. It's like a little orangey hue. All right, on to the next. We're doing a NYX matte lip. This one is so bomb. I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? And you can wear it like this or you could build it up. I'm gonna start wearing it the first way, like every day, but I built it up for the sake of the video. It's so pretty, like. And then I took some of my NYX Duo Chrome. This one is like a pink that has like green, uh, holographic glitters in it I have like a bunch of these they're really nice so I'm just blending all of that out trying to get you know the look that I'm going for but it ended up being like something that's super cute it's sassy like <laughs> Yes, she's sassy. Take a sip of my tea. Well, tea break. And we on to the next. I'm using another Fenty and the Flamingo Acid. This is another one of my favorite colors in the whole world. As you can tell, I love pinks. I feel like they go perfect with my skin tone. Dark pink, medium pink, uh, mauve pink bright pink doesn't even matter just give it here this is a dark pink color and it almost reminds me of my grandma but at the same time it doesn't it's like it's it's almost old school but it's not you know something about it saves it and then i'm just gonna top that off with a nyx matte cream and a color that's similar to the ballerina blackout but I didn't want to get my ballerina blackout messed up. So I just put that in the center for a highlight color and blot that out. Gorgeous. On to the next. Now we're going to go for a classic red lip. You could do that too, because who doesn't love an eyeliner look with a classic red lip? Like, now if you're going somewhere or you're doing something slightly special or whatever, you can definitely do this. 
and it'll look like you really tried hard. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna build up this one because this is a mixed matte cream, and like some of them tend to be a little like, you know, more uh, like sparse in certain areas. So uh, building it up gives you the coverage that you want in this lip. Nice matte red lip. Or baby you can go for like a candy apple red look and that's what i'm doing next when i grab my nyx red lip gloss to top it and it's just gorgeous darling oh she let them braids down can we get a <laughs> And that completes the looks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let me tell you this looks gonna be gorgeous. For me, it's probably either this red or that brown that you can see right here on my hand. The Tan Tarantula. Yeah, I think that one looks good. So comment down below and let me know which one you're here because I'm dying to know. Oh, oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Why not? If you like this video, you can also like and subscribe. Anyways, I'm going to be hitting you with some nails. Peace, Dina. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching.